Hello everybody, here we are again with God of War 2018 and we're going to continue on where we left off yesterday, which is beat this Valkyrie. No, just kidding. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me fail at that again. We're going to get into this portal here and do some main storyline because it needs to get done. So let's go up here, maybe, in our world, right there. Boom. We need to call the World Serpent again with that big horn we need to blow into. So yesterday went rather poorly in terms of what happened on the stream, which was not much. <laughs> we had maybe an hour of story out of three and a half hours, four hours. The rest was goofing around and trying to beat this Valkyrie, which we almost managed to do, but we actually didn't. I am going to return to her and try and beat her kick her butt. But first, we're gonna get some story done here. Why is it that Mimir has to blow into that horn? Why can't we? Is there a difference between his lungs and ours, besides the his are missing. This is that you lost to us. Ah, uh, he thinks it might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. Of course he's not. Who would be? Boat into the serpent's so, mouth. Are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. It's just like cutting off somebody's head, you know? When they ask you to do it, you don't ask any questions, you just do it. This is a good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. We really should expect that sort of response at this point. This isn't going to end well. Alright, okay, I can. Sorry about that. You need to get your teeth checked here. I rode against one. This would smell pretty bad, I imagine. It's not too dark on the screen there. It's pretty dark in general. Belly of the beast. Find Mimir's eye. Funny. I used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. You are a child, dude. 
Let's find that statue. What else is in here? All sorts of crap. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. A bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. I see something down there. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Hi. I wouldn't touch this water. Not for two of Mimir's eyes. Not for any amount of eyes, for that matter. There, the hammer. Okay, yeah, I guess we're maybe docking here. Can't we just put our wives' ashes to rest in here? That's like a fitting place for it, wouldn't it be? That's just hex silver. If I hit the stomach walls of this serpent, is it gonna be angry? <laughs> I'm sure it would be. Oh, there's the hammer. Didn't see that at first. Maybe we can dock here. It's convenient. So we're here, though. Okay, it's just a dead end, as expected. Is there one of Odin's ravens in here? That would be kind of weird. Is a raven living inside this serpent? We gotta hit that. Multiple? No. Oh. There we go. Let's take it back in. No, it's not like I can still see through it. This thing swallowed entire ships, and of course, this freaking tower. like chewing gum you know it's sticks in stays in your intestines for years and years and years it just won't come out no matter how much you clench and press <laughs> yep that's an eye maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping gently now gently thank you brother you don't miss depth until it's gone. We made him whole again. Return to Tears Travel Room. Whee! That's that's very convenient. Everything of everything about that was just convenient. Does it feel, Mimir? So well, let's hope I we say I'm feeling get out the front again, end and not the but back it's end. That's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yodna. 
There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? Fate is another lie told, told by, by the, the gods. gods. Yes, of course. You really are your father's son, you know. Mimir, you say tempting fate. But you so jinxed us a couple out? of times, all right? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No, something is wrong. This is like Titanic all over again. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. It's is not over till it's over. What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. Dark here, open up a circle. Hold and watch your balance. The board shift in. I'm good at you. To this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! It's a bird. Murder bird. Her. We can still trust her, right? Until we know for certain, keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! <laughs> the Terminator. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? You don't care. My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. 
You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Apparently. Ouch. Thing, the shield out didn't work. And the vines. Head. Nothing I can do. Wanna turn away, boy? This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! Boom! No, Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe. Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. You wish you didn't, Uncle. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. Strap, yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. Easy there, dude. She controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! Now touch it! This will all be over soon! There! Where? Too, dude. It's not that special. Where is he going? 
So we should do that last dude. The blades. Can't I hit him? Ouch. Okay. Let's not die here. Let's try and keep it. Well, could be. Listen to your mother. She worries. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Yep. Didn't hurt him at all, did he? Feeling that tomorrow. Oh, 
What do we do? There! Stop him! This dude would be dead by now. There are consequences to killing you. Maybe we shouldn't. You know, let's make up right here. Let's play the win. Before you die, I want to thank you. Both of you, you've done what even the Allfather himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Scripted. I don't know that here. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, just get him. Not even into the ground here. Make him run with the ground. <laughs> oh, look away. This is kind of bloody. There are giant Kratos in the background blowing missiles. Boy. Well done, boy. Oh yeah. Who's this dude? Father, not a threat. Is he though? You will 
not come for us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Interfering in my life! I was it's just weekend. trying to protect you! I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead. We'll make things right. I won't stop you. <laughs> I know. this I will rain down every agony every violation imaginable upon you I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell that is I promise! He saved your life! He robbed me of everything! <laughs> everything! <laughs> you were just an animal! Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change! And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy! Listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. 
That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. No goodbye. That's poopy of her. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. Twilight I understand. Fans. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill. We're gonna continue this in a second. Legion. Freya always seems to have more and more magic up her sleeve. First, she used her roots to try to restrain Father and Baldur, but they were too strong. Then she reanimated Thunder, the giant stonemason. That was incredible, but it still didn't work. Baldur kept trying to kill Freya, and we couldn't let that happen. So we kept fighting, and Freya summoned these weird creatures. They kept trying to grab Father to keep him from fighting. From fighting. Luckily, they go down easily. There are sure a lot of them, though. Killer. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Bye. Jotunheim awaits. Finally. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself lost. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Mimir, you never told me what happened with the stonemason's son. Rimthur, son of Thamur. After completing his father's masterwork at the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once, he longed to fight Thor, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Rimthur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. So Rimthur adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by the stranger. Rimthur made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Rhea was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard. And when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. 
I'm Our sorry, focus uh, is the road. Completely accidentally skipped that. Can we complete that? I'll finish later. Uh, like. hmm. Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking there for a second. I wish I hadn't skipped that. Mm -hmm. We listened to every single story of Mimir, and this one I skipped. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim, and we'll be on our way. Probably. Okay, where is this? There it is. Let's go to the other Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got him. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now, boy. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Oh, fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. Whee. I can do this. No, no, I can't. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Awesome. Man, Sundog, hello there. It's so great of you to join in. We're just finishing up the game pretty much here, I think. Main storyline, at least, so... Might have caught us at the very best moment of the game here. <laughs> the ending. <laughs> How long am I going to play today? I'm not quite sure. I think we're gonna finish. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? Nothing more to hide.
Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Alright, uh, we're gonna finish the main storyline and then we might do a bit of optional stuff like uh, try that one Valkyrie again. We hmm. mailed it over and over again it's yesterday. Nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. So nothing's quite set in stone, but I think till up about 8pm maybe. Here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Oh, this would be a lot to read here. New lore. The dream of Midgard. Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated, Jotnar. Aesir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf, and mortals most of all. It was beautiful, but not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening. And so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer have thinned our number in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw, while yet any live to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with everything. Sorry about this swiveling camera here left and right, but I'm trying not to miss anything here. Huh, who's the guardian? This is like on Crete, the first Roman uh, tablets or, or laws written in huge murals. The Guardian returns. We foresee Midgard's fate, overrun a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The Serpent and the Guardian remained. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the Guardian return. Until then, we await a better world, one without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for a word that gods grow good. Hope that world... Whoops, sorry. Hope that world... There is an elder. World? World. It is a world. Hope that world gets here soon. Okay. What world? Am I reading that right? <laughs> I'm confused. I should feel it, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd mom send us here? Am I having a stroke? Is answered and two more oh. take its place. Oh. I'm not in control. Ooh. Wait! Father! Something's happening! your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. 
They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here, knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. that foreshadowing for the next game we're gonna find out when we play it and his mother being a giant is what I spoiled accidentally making jokes about demigod Atreus that stupid kid <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about that again but it's it mother. happened she was here she saw every step we took before we took it like she was always with us watching over us leading us home let's finish it This is gonna be our everything the light touches moment, isn't it? Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. I'm 
so I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Alright, we got another trophy here. Last wish. I didn't manage to get it there. <laughs> Return to Tear Sample. Now. Why she wanna end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Well... So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We well, missed it. Uh, it took all game, but we finally did it. That was the actual goal of the game. Make Kratos tell a good story for once. I like how the credits just run while we're playing the game. It's pretty awesome. More games should do that. Developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? What would uh, Jesus do, is what I'm asking. Weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. They don't have to rub it in my face, Atreus. I know we've got Valkyries to kill. I'm gonna. Just takes time. Oh, there's a head there. Lads, am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Back on our ass he goes. Explore with Atreus. Continue exploring. Complete warden favors. Free dragons. Travel to Muspelheim and Niflheim. Find new items in the shops to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat all legendary corrupted Valkyries. Well, that sounds like fun. Valkyries revealed. Locations of all corrupted Valkyries have been revealed on our map. Gimme. Where are they? I guess I gotta do this. Alright, uh, there's one. Hirdrfull. Nice. This one. Air. That's the one we tried yesterday, and I died over and over. We're gonna get back to her on that and uh, return the favor. And there's... Uh, in the other realms, there's also more 
New game plus. Well, that's not something we're gonna do right now. Okay. Right. Uh, we're just gonna return to the main room here. Then we're gonna take a quick little break. And then we're gonna get some rage and try that um, Valkyrie again. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you might have realized. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens for the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Nobody counts on me. That's why I'm good at what I do. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or, if you're not heading home, same advice. Thank you, guys. Let's see if this winter is really as bad as they say. It's a bit snowy. Gotta admit. It does look nice. The whole world changes color. More or less. Alright, everybody. Since the game ended here, I'm gonna take a quick break here instead of in half an hour. And then we're gonna try the, the Valkyrie again. So, thank you all.